over to the west. So Fremantle, not a huge amount of key ins, but a lot of key outs. So they lost uh, Hamling, Schultz, obviously, and Liam Henry. Um, and they've, they've gained some future first round picks. Yeah, they can't be happy. Yeah. I don't think. You, you look at the future first, and that's great having three for next year, but they, they can't be happy with, with A, how well they finished last year to then trade their future first, bomb out this year, not have that pick, um, and not have access to the draft. You know, until, well, I think they enter at pick 34. They've got, you know, four picks between 34 and 64, so they'll have some access. They could trade up in the draft. And, and a few of those picks, given that, um, a lot of them are behind you know, a lot of the Gold Coast Suns picks, which will kind of get dissolved. So then, So they will move up a little bit already. So they have 34, 46, 60, and 64. So 34 might come in a little, but 46, 60, and 64 should come in a fair bit um, on draft night. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's they, they, They're obviously very frustrated. They wanted to keep all three of Henry, Schultz, and Hamling. Hamling's not a, a huge loss for them. They've got some really good key defensive stocks, but... If they lose one, then it might open up a little bit there. They've, they've got some you know, young players that can play key back, but uh, whether they're ready next year, especially if Fremantle think they're back in premiership or finals contention, then and that's going to be interesting to watch. Lucky Schultz is a huge blow for the leading goal kicker for the club across the last three seasons. Mm. Uh, look, they've they've got guys in Switkowski. Um, they've got guys in Frederick, and, and Walter's got another year or two to go, so... It's not like he's there. It's the be on end off for their small forwards, but um, yeah, they'll be quite frustrated with that loss. Liam Henry's another one as well. Can play small forward. Really um, came to his own in the second half of this year. Um, so yeah, I, they they can't be happy with losing all three and then not bringing anyone in. I think they'll look at Jeremy Sharp in as a delisted free agent. Uh, they haven't really said they they're looking at him yet, mm-hmm. but I think given. You know, if they want to add to their list and, and someone they were after last year, he'll certainly be one on their radar, I believe. But yeah, three first round picks for next year. So one's Collingwood's and one's Port's and the other one's their own. So best case scenario, Port kind of bomb out like they did last year. Uh, I don't see the Pies falling out of the top eight, but you know, if they finish in the you know the bottom half of the eight, that's great. And then, you know, for, well, Frio, that it's kind of how the draft works. If you finish low, then you've got a great pick. And if you finish high, then you're playing great footy. So... Um, it, look, it sets them up for maybe a move for for someone like Logan McDonald. Um, you know, if they want to go for a, a Tim English and, and they have to trade for him in the end, he is a free agent next year, but, you know, they can force into a trade, then they, they might have to stock to do that. Um, mm-hmm. And then on top of that, you know, if they lose Sean Darcy, they'll add to that draft and uh, he's a free agent as well, but albeit likely restricted. So they'll have a fair bit to use next year. Uh, they don't have draft access this year, though, so that's going to be quite frustrating for them. Uh, but like I said, they can trade a few picks to get mm. to the front of the queue or, or get up a little bit, but they might be a bit quieter on, on come the draft. But with- yeah, I didn't think that their issues this year were solely list-related, but the fact that they didn't add anyone and they lost those three is quite um, yeah. yeah, quite disappointing. I don't know. I think I feel like if they finished you know where they did in 23 last year mm-hmm. and a lot of people would have ex- maybe ex- like expected them to do really well like they did last year this year so they kind of took a step back but maybe last year was maybe a bit of an overachieving year they- they've got a great list yeah and it's young and it's emerging the spine's um, good yeah um, and they're, they're, they're well placed you know if they lose someone like sean darcy they'll get heaps in return yeah um and they can move luke jackson to that first string ruck role uh or if they keep him and they've got the best ruck pair going forward for the next you know, umpteen years when they signed Darcy. So, yeah, that'll be good for them. But, yeah, this I think this offseason certainly hurt. They wouldn't have seen the short stuff coming. Um, they did okay, I think, to get Collingwood's future first round. Um, you know, really, the pies, all they have to do is finish, you know, below first and, and they and Frio kind of, kind of get a win given they didn't uh, get the, the their first round for this year in. So, that's okay. Um, yeah, no, I can't see the Frio being very happy with how this year unfolded for them. Yeah.